Fight fans all over the world is Daddy P on the corner in the corner boxing. Okay, y'all know it's fight week for Devin Alexander, Andre Berto on that undercard August the 4th. Hey, Peter Quinlan, Kid Chocolate, and J. Leon Love. Hey, they go face off. And I'm going to tell you, listen, y'all know who Peter Quinlan is, Kid Chocolate. You know, uh, he is 33-1-1, one one, stands six foot one with a 71 and a half inch reach. Lesson. He does have 23 KOs. And I'm going to tell you, man, J. Leon Love is 24-1-1. One and one. He's standing at six foot even with a 75 and a half inch reach. And he has 13 KOs. Lesson. Peter Quinlan, y'all know, man, he, he was on the long layoff after that devastating TKO in the first round against Danny Jacobs. Man, Danny Jacobs blasted him out of the ring in round number one of that fight, man. And, um, you know, uh, due to some, you know, that and some other issues, you know, he had, you know, family issues. You know, he took a long layoff, man. He came back in 2017. He took on a journeyman in Deshaun Johnson. And, you know, he got the unanimous decision over him. Um, so, uh, you know, Peter Quinlan, a little rain rust. But, uh, hey, he trying to get back on the saddle, man, and do his thing. Now, you know, Peter Quinlan has been in with some decent names. You know, I could say notable. He, you know, he tko Gabe Rosado back in 2013 in round number 10 and um also he's he's got a win over Hassan Endom 2012 unanimous decision he he uh he been in there with Andy Lee but they fought to a draw 2015 so the young man you know uh Peter Quinlan does have like more notable names than Jay Leon Love he also has that experience factor on his side you know, being 33, one and one. So he has, he, he got 35 fights under his belt, you know. Um, Jay Leon Love, on the other hand, is, like I say, 24, one and one with 13 KOs. Um, you know, he, he's less experienced. Um, he has been knocked out too, you know what I'm saying? He got KO'd in 2014 in the third round of 10 against Rogelio Medina and um you know I don't know so but he did he have fought earlier this year against Jamie Barboza you know he got a, a, a unanimous decision in that fight and he fought last year as well Abraham Hahn that was a technical decision you know it went you know as a technical decision I guess you'll say went down as a draw or whatever accidental head but so you know his thing is he's gonna have he ain't gonna really have that rain rust factor you know what I'm saying because he fought earlier this year and he fought last year um Peter Quinlan ain't fought since last year and you know he coming off of a long layoff um also J. Leon Love is 30 years old he's still basically in his prime years and Peter Quinlan is 35 so uh, those are some things to kind of, you know, consider when you're watching this fight, man. And, um, you know, Peter Quinlan, though, man, it's an opportunity for him to try to get back on the saddle and salvage what's left of his career to try to, you know, because he's going to have to hang it up here in the, in the next, you know. <laughs> he's going to have to hang it up, you know, in a little bit. It ain't, he can't, you know, he's, he's also fighting against time at this point. Anytime you're on a down slope, you know, he 35 years old. J. Leon Love, on the other hand, man, hey, it's also an opportunity for him to get a named guy under his belt and, um, you know, try to move forward. He 30 years old. He still got some fight left in him. And um, he just, to me, he need to stay consistent, stay busy. You know what I'm saying? Hey, at that age, you know, you want to at least fight two to three times a year. I mean, really three times a year. You know, you really want to fight at least three times a year. But now these days, you know, these fighters, you know, they fight twice a year and think that they, you know, good to go. But, um, you know, if he's very serious about his career, he need to really go ahead and, um, you know, stay busy. 
um, that's win or lose for this fight. But he really does need this fight. You know what I'm saying? If he wants to do anything for his career at this stage, you know. So, hey, I can't wait to see it, man. It's go. I think it's going to be a good fight for both guys. And um, I hope to see some fireworks. Peter Quinlan, you know, I think uh, he has some fire up under, man, coming back. You know, after he lost to Danny Jacobs, that was devastating. Had some other things going on. He, like I say, he did come back last year. He fought a, a journeyman. And, uh, hey, hope he can can um, shake this ring rust off. And um, him and J. Leon Love can get it down. You know, and maybe we could see some fireworks. Because Peter Quinn is, um, you know, like you watch fights like him and Andy Lee, man. That was a good fight, you know. He does it when he gets some fire up on him, he can come out and, and, and do some things in the ring. And Jay Leon Love, man, you know, I hope that he's still hungry enough to come out and, you know, hey, make a good showing of himself because he really needs it at this stage in his career. But check it, this is the undercard of Devin Alexander, Andre Berto. Y'all know it's going down. 7.30 on Fox Network. That's Eastern Standard Time. So, hey, check your local listings for when it's going to be happening in your area. But this is an August 4th thing, man. It's going down this Saturday night. Y'all tune in. This Daddy P on the corner, in the corner, boxing. Hey, y'all holler back.